50% of our reefs are in poor condition and that's due to a variety of reasons. We've had a number of severe bleaching events. Coral bleaching is caused from the warm temperatures of the water, so that's obviously related to global warming. We have a fair amount of pollution that's coming off of rivers. You know, these reefs are near the Central American continental landmass, and there's major rivers with sediments and nutrients and even agrochemicals that are washing off of these rivers and affecting the water quality. The water is not as clear as it used to be. We also have overfishing. We have not the same abundances of fish that we had even 10 or 20 years ago. And that affects the whole functioning of the coral reef ecosystem. Well, we're part of the monitoring team, the research team. And for the region, uh, reefs have now become an important part of our livelihood and a big contributor to the economy is the reef in Mesoamerica healthy. Uh, so every two years, um, we team up with partners across the region in Mexico, Belize, Honduras, Guatemala, to go out and do just that, monitor the reef to see if, how healthy our, our reef is. There is nothing like the Healthy Reefs Initiative anywhere else in the world. We bring together over 50 NGOs, as well as government departments and research institutions from the four countries that share the Mesoamerican reef. Together, we collaborate, gather, and share information on the health of the reef, which is then published every two years in the report cards. Learning from one another and sharing our triumphs, we all become better stewards of the Meso-Amazing Reef. And I think for potential donors and foundations that would want to get involved in a place, you can really make a difference in a, in a place the size of the Mesoamerican Reef. I mean, we. We know a lot of our, our, our supporters have been around for the last couple of decades and we hope they're going to stay around and they've kind of become part of the conservation family in this area and, and we really need that, it's just not enough, we need more because we know we don't have adequate enforcement and we don't have adequate science. We need more people around the world to really understand the, the proximity and the importance of this, this reef system.